how's it going today all you backyard fabricators let's get in a part two of my rocket stove build let's get going here we are everybody this is the inside of my rocket stove as you can see here here's my riser tube and how I installed my riser tube was I actually cut out a piece of six inch inside diameter pipe and then I had cut out a square piece to put on top where the riser tube rises. Now I welded these two on, slid the six inch pipe into the six inch inside diameter pipe. I did insulate this with perlite. And what I did on the top was I actually got a six inch cap and cut the hole in the diameter of my riser tube. Then I filled it with perlite and packed it down in. Now as you can see in the inside, get a better look at it. Now I was going to go with and put refractory around where the pipe actually comes in to the inside of the stove to get more heat. What most people do is they have problems is well obviously when it's insulated it's going to get really hot, glow red. And then over time, a short time, it's basically going to eat the steel away because it is mild steel. Now, I do get about 600 degrees, 700 degrees out of this stove without having that insulated. And like I said, for me, that's fine. That definitely takes care of all my heating needs. But there was one thing that I never showed you guys that, yes, this stove does burn pellets. And I did show you that the pellet burner does come out. So this is how we burn wood. Let's take the pellet burner off. Install this piece. I'm sorry, it's not painted yet. Tighten bolts down. And there we go. And then we can basically just feed it and run wood without pellets. And I'll give everybody a little bit of a closer look at my pellet basket here. As you can see how I made this. And I have to say, like when I first built this basket, I really wasn't too sure if it was going to work correctly, but honestly, it does work pretty good. I was very happy with the performance of it. Now my next video, I will be lighting the stove and showing everybody how it runs. Um, I'm just waiting to move to my new place. Things have been kind of crazy around here. And I hope all you enjoy this latest video of showing you a little bit more on the inside of my stove. Now I am building a new firebox. I'm building a batch box for this, which will actually bolt right in to that spot there. And then by the way, I never did mention that I do use a high temp silicone or high temperature mortar to go in between the plate before I do bolt it on. And I've already started my batch box design. It's uh, partially done. And when I go over to the new shop, I will actually show a video of me building this new batch box. But I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you like, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Um, love to hear some feedback. Um, any ideas, any of you out there in the rock stove community have i would love to hear your ideas and comments and there she is i hope all you have a great day and thank you for joining backyard fabrications